my name is Colleen Riley. <laughs> I am a program manager for the dog grooming program. I've been working here for about going on four years. Outside of here, I'm I'm an actual dog groomer. I go to a grooming salon and I they set up appointments for me so that when I leave here, I get straight there and I get started on my dogs. I've been working there for about six months and before that I was working at another salon for about five years. But I've been grooming since I was like 14 because I got a little Westie, oh. a West Highland Terrier and mm -hmm. um, he requires a lot of grooming so I would do that myself. Why did you decide to become a pet groomer? I, growing up, always loved working with animals and I wasn't sure what part of the animal industry I wanted to work in. So I started with the dog training and then from there I went to exotic training and then I needed to figure out an easier career because it's not that easy getting into the training career. Um, so then I found my passion in dog grooming and I really enjoy teaching dog grooming, learning it. Um, I work with other groomers and they're always teaching me new things and I teach them new things. And it, uh, it's a really good creative outlet. How did you become a pet groomer? Well, again, I, I got my West Highland Terrier and I worked with a dog groomer. And then um, once I realized I wanted to make this into my career, I um, found a brick and mortar dog grooming school. And I started there, got my certificate and then I started from the bottom again and worked my way up in a grooming salon. Mm. Um, and then from there, met other groomers who taught me more stuff. What's the best way to become a pet groomer? School, certification, volunteering? I recommend all of it. I think the more education, the better. The more experience, the better. Um, getting a certificate will help you in the long run because you'll always have that. You'll have that on your resume and it proves that you went to school for it. Um, but again, experience, that's how you build your skill level. What's the best way to start your career as a pet groomer? Of course, doing research, um, finding a school that would work with their schedule. And then, um, again, experience. They can go to, they have friends, dogs they can practice on, rescues they can work with, um, with while they go to school. Um, and the, the schooling is really important because it teaches you safety and handling and the basics you would need to complete the full groom, especially when it comes to like the breed cuts. Um, but once you learn the basics, um, you can go from there and modify it yourself mm -hmm. on how you like to groom, you create your own style. What are the advantages of Animal Behavior College versus getting experience on your own? Going through a school like this, I think we help um, p give people like the foot in the door. Mm -hmm. um, there's, we have students that sign up who've never worked with animals, don't even know where to begin. Um, so we teach them the basics and then we introduce them to other groomers. And then if they build a professional relationship with those groomers, they then network and they can meet other groomers, they can get better ideas, um, and then that's really when they can learn if this is something that they want to do mm -hmm. or maybe they want to go into the training career instead. Well, we have different stages in the program where um, we teach them the history of dogs and why they get specific haircuts and how those grooming salons even started. Um, and then we go into more detail about the specific tools in the toolkit that they'll be using um, so that they kind of have an understanding of all the different kind of tools out there. Um, then we go into safety and health while they're in the grooming salon, which is really important because the, the main concern is the safety and health of the animal. Um, and then we go into more detail about um, bathing, brushing, um, and like all the different kind of shampoos and perfumes out there, um, how to hold your tools properly, um, how to work your tools, how to keep them clean. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the specific haircuts for specific breeds, um, why they get those specific cuts, um, and then um, like how to read the guidelines. So when you're, when you're in the grooming salon and um, let's say you're not quite sure how to complete a haircut, you can pull up a sheet that will show you the, how the haircut's mm -hmm. supposed to look and you'll understand what the lines mean. Um, and then we go into more detail about like building your own business. 
um, how to create your own grooming salon and the difference between mobile grooming and owning a grooming salon or working in a grooming salon for someone <clears throat> and then also how to like calculate how much money you should be making and uh -huh. the different types of ways the owners of grooming salons can pay you. And then, of course, you get your hands-on experience where you go into a grooming salon and you you learn what it's like being in that busy salon. Um, we, we, the mentors teach you everything from cleaning to bathing the dog to trimming the dog to checking in and out clients. Um, and then you also get the experience of working with other dog groomers as well. How many hours do you need to complete? It's a minimum of 100 hours. Um, it kind of just depends on the skill level of the student and then also um, when um, how much practice they get before they go into the grooming salon. Um, while they go through their stages, we recommend, it is required that they do homework, but as much, we try to recommend to get as much practice in before you go into the grooming salon so that when you're in there, the mentor sees that you are motivated, you do want to learn this. Um, you have a little bit of more confidence, and then they can move you forward faster. Um, and then a lot of our students build professional relationships with the mentors. Um, they either continue volunteering for the mentors, or sometimes the mentors will hire them on to teach them more afterwards.